Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Ask Jimmy Smith. Today, I'm excited to be able to bring to you some content on a free online arbitrage software program that's out there that I believe is actually a very simple software program that solves a, a big headache, in my opinion, anyway. It's a big headache uh, for the online arbitrage sellers out there. And even if you're doing retail arbitrage, this can be a headache for you as well. And so the uh, tool that I'm going to be going through today, again, it's completely free, is, is Sales Gazer. And so you go to salesgazer.com if you're interested in it. Uh, and I wanted to go through the, uh, the web page as well as the usability and functionality of this software. Just FYI, this isn't something that anybody reached out to me to do a video on. I actually saw it in one of the pages that I run on training for arbitrage, and I'd never heard of this. So I don't know if it's a new software. I don't know if it's something that flew under my radar and I just completely missed it for the longest time. But I wanted to, to discuss it here because I believe it just solves um, kind of a big headache that can come from doing arbitrage. And really what that headache is, is, um, and I'll go back to even December of 2015, whenever I started doing arbitrage, uh, whenever you do that, you naturally want to sign up to see all the best deals, right? You want to try to get as, as big of a discount as you possibly can for these different products that you're trying to buy and send into Amazon. Because the more discount you can get, obviously the more profit you can make or the more room that you have to move on the, the sale price of the item, whatever it might be. The way to find those deals in an efficient or more efficient manner is to sign up for different stores uh, ads that they send out, whether it's uh, weekly emails or daily emails or monthly, whatever they do for that store, you want to sign up for their weekly ads that get mailed to your email inbox. And the problem that many people run into is whenever they're starting, they use their personal email address. And if they're really smart, maybe they use a business email address, but many times we don't think about the fact that we're going to get hundreds of emails as we continue to sign up for more and more stores. And so that becomes a huge problem pretty quickly uh, as you are a new seller moving into a more advanced seller that continues to sign up for different retail store ads or online store ads. And so uh, what we end up doing is, uh, or at least what I ended up doing was signing up a completely new Gmail account that was just for ads, which works great. Uh, although the biggest issue is that there are some stores that are still in my personal email or still in the business email. And so then I have to go and, and try to switch over those subscriptions to the new place. And there's different stores that come out all the time. So I miss certain ones and it's just, it becomes a, a heavy Headache. And so what I love about this software is to me, it solves that issue. Also, it solves the issue of if you uh, start to outsource and using a virtual assistant uh, in your business and you want them to go through these ads that are coming through, you don't have to give them access to a personal email address or business email address. You can give them access to this software program for free instead. And so it makes it very simple. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get into uh, the software. Let me go ahead and pull up my screen. As you can see here, it's a very simple web page. I've got a nice you know, minute long video describing how this all works essentially. Uh, you can sign up for free. As I mentioned, there hasn't been any upsells that I have seen at, as of this point in time. And then they describe the features. Obviously, as I've said, it's easy to use. It's customizable to be uniquely yours. Uh, so you can subscribe to as many as you want or as few as you want and or specific uh, places that you want to be signed up for. You can also search within those uh, emails, just like a regular email database or inbox. Um, additionally, I like this feature. I have not tried it yet. I actually signed up a few days ago so that I could do this video to see how this works and make sure I liked it. Um, and I haven't used this feature, which is the We Grow With You. You can actually suggest different websites that they aren't currently connected to. You can suggest those sites to be added to their database to be able to pull in to this uh, email address or email inbox that they set up for you. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, additionally, you can add favorites if you want, uh, you know, maybe virtual assistants to always be going through those favorites. Uh, or you could even set up a system with your VAs to find the best discounted gift cards and then mark those as the favorites in your uh, your email uh, ads that they're sending out. Whatever it is, you can do a lot of things with the favorites, however you want to use it in your business. Just you can get creative with some of that. And then lastly, uh, it says more than just sales because you can also browse through gift card and cash back deals uh, to make it go further. And so I really love that they have designed this for the arbitrage seller, uh, both retail and especially online arbitrage. Uh, and I believe that it's free because there are some ads in the inbox and that's totally fine. I find seeing ads in the inbox um, because it 
solves a pretty big uh, you know, headache for me, as I mentioned earlier. Now, if I go here and show you the inside of it all, you can see that it's pulled in a bunch of different ads for me. These are ones I've signed up for. So if I hadn't signed up for anything, the in inbox would, would have been blank as far as you know I could tell. Uh, and so I actually signed up for way too many. Uh, I accidentally signed up for all of the ads in the United States. And so I'll show you how I made that mistake. Uh, but uh, you know that's something that you have to watch out for. And, and I can go back through and deselect the ones I don't care to see. And if I just want to click into some of these, you know, if I click into one, you'll see that it's just a regular um, email, right? That gets sent out. So it's their emails get sent to this. It pulls into this inbox. It's very simple to use. You can mark it as on red. You can star it if you wanted a VA to go through it or yourself to go through it later, or you can just move it to trash and it's really, um, really easy. It pulls over into the trash that way. So if I go back to the inbox, you can see all of these different Items are here for you. I can select them and star them. But uh, let me show you how to add things to this inbox so that way you know exactly what it is that you are going to be um, doing so that you can get this set up properly. So you want to click this little settings wheel up in the top, and then you're going to come over here, and you can do a few things. You can either individually select items if you wanted to, or um, what I did is I went and clicked on the country. So there's multiple countries that pull up. If you click in this country column, it actually doesn't pull up whenever I'm sharing my screen for some reason. But if I click in here, there are, looks like 11 different countries currently as of uh, 2022. And if I click onto the USA, you see that pulls up and it filtered out just the United States of America um, ads. And so we've got 889 different ads for the U S and that is what I accidentally signed up for. I clicked to select all of them and, uh, I believe, yeah, 890 stores selected. Uh, so I selected all and just clicked subscribe to selected. So I don't recommend doing that unless you want to get 516 emails in a day. Uh, so it's a pretty, uh, you know, interesting way that it goes about it, but Hey, that's fine with me. At least, uh, you got to see how that worked, but you could go through and just select individual ones. As I mentioned earlier, you can also favorite them or filter out different countries. If you're selling in Canada or in any of the other marketplaces that Amazon has, you could add those specific ads as well. Also, you can search if you want to do like bed, bath and beyond, for instance, I could search for that. Uh, you know, they've got Target. Uh, they've got Publix, I believe. Yeah, Publix is there uh, and Walmart. So all the major stores, for the most part, are here. And if you want to suggest a new site, all you have to do is click on this green button here, uh, and you can add the site name, the domain, or the and and the country as well, so that they know that they can uh, look into that to get it added to their software program. So you've got a lot of filtering options to find the stores that you want to get added to your uh, to your inbox. Uh, you can also see their last mail date, which I actually really appreciate because you can see the last time that they sent out a newsletter. So you could sort it from the oldest, which looks like you could, all of them go back to the March 2019. So not sure why that is, but that's how far they go back currently. Maybe they don't have anybody pulling those into the inbox, or maybe that's actually the last time that they were sent out. I doubt Advanced Auto Parts hasn't sent out a newsletter in uh, three years at this point, but uh, maybe nobody else is, is pulling those in. I'm not sure. But you can also see the most recent, which is very important. And I actually like going through those so that then you can see, okay, cool. These companies are active in sending out these different newsletters. And then you can choose to subscribe or unsubscribe. Maybe I don't care about this one. So I'll now unsubscribe from it. So I don't have all 886 USA stores. I now have 885. Uh, but if I wanted to resubscribe, all I have to do is click the button. It's very simple to use. So uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, I know that many of you may have heard of this before. This is a uh, something that I had not heard of. To me, it solves a headache. You've got a few different functions that you can use with it. One is you can add VAs into it and they can go through these. They can use these emails as kind of their starting off point for going and sourcing for you. Maybe they see that, oh, wow, there's a 35% off code at this one store. And so I'm going to start sourcing there instead of sourcing at a store that doesn't have a discount today. Or, you know, you can use it for yourself. You can get declutter your regular email inbox, however you have it set up. To me, I believe since it's free, it's a very good software to use and get set up. And they suggest stores. So you can actually go through all these stores. You might find, and actually I know you would find, stores you'd never heard of that you haven't 
bought from before, you might find some, some good stuff at those other stores. You could even use it as a lead generation tool uh, for different stores that you could shop from. So uh, I believe that that covers everything. Let me know your thoughts below. Have you used Sales Gazer before? Is this something uh, that you love to use? Do you have any other recommendations? Maybe I, I missed out and there's another, there's another software out there that should be recommended. But um, what, from what I see with Sales Gazer, Seems to be an awesome software. It's free and uh, gets the job done. So uh, let me know your thoughts below. I would appreciate it if you'd like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you want to check out my website, it's askjimmysmith.com and all my links are below in the description. So I hope you have a great rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week.